Good afternoon, everybody. Christian here. Today, I do have something to share with you. Um, and I'm going to go into various different things. This is more of a vlog, but there's also a prophetic word that I'm going to be sharing with you in this particular video. As I will, you know, put out a video every single week in this vlog. Um, if you're only following the prophetic words portion of this channel, then you're probably going to miss a lot of stuff because every single week I'm sharing stuff um, with the vlog on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, and, you know, click your notifications, etc., etc. if you want to stay up to date. So, um, let's see, a few things I want to talk about. Where do I begin? I think I'll just share the word that I have to share with you uh, right off the bat. Um, so there is this understanding that I have based on the things that the Lord has shown me. That I, I look at and I'm like, that should be, you know, common knowledge. You should be able to look and see that for yourself. But maybe you don't. So let me share with you what I can see. Um, Some time back, I uh, shared a video with you. Uh, a title, Something's Coming, something like that. And in this dream the Lord shows me, I see this angel looking to being in this cloud, covered in cloud, you know. And uh, it's like uh, coming and, I, and I'm... I go inside when I see this thing. I, I quit what I was doing on the field and I go inside. And, you know, when I had that dream, that revelation, I knew the Lord was sending something. Something was big was coming. And I, when I saw it, I, I got on my face before God and was praying about it. And, and God said, you know, it's not going to harm you. Get up. So I'm like, okay, I got up. And, um, but I knew it was a judgment sent on the land, right? I just didn't know to what measure it was talking about. Um, later, we of course get the pandemic hits and I'm like, okay, that's that thing. And then sometime later, the Lord shows me another dream. And in this dream, I see an angel. And I, I believe it's an angel sent to, um, what was it? I don't remember what I titled it, but something like an angel sent to protect your land or something like that. Um, and in this particular dream, the Lord shows me, I, again, I see an angel and he's in my front yard and I'm pointing him out to my son. And there's a difference between this angel and the previous angel. In the previous angel, he was covered in clouds, right? You couldn't perceive him as well. Um, he was hidden in camouflage. This particular angel was not. He was completely out in the open, right smack on the land and uh, had a sword drawn. Now. Uh, there's some people who have argued that, you know, the pandemic and all this other thing, it's, it's of the devil, it's not of God, and blah, blah, blah. These are people talking about things they don't understand. Um, no one does anything unless God says you may do something. So I don't care how you cut it, God says that that can happen, all right? So it's from God. And you say, well, no, God would never, would never do a pandemic, you know. You've never read your Bible clearly because throughout Scripture we see plagues and so forth and so on that the Lord sends on the land. So the concept that this isn't from God is just kind of silly. Anyway, kind of a little side tangent there. Um, the main thing I want to point out to you is there, there's a point in Scripture where David sees an angel and his sword is drawn and it had been said by the Lord um, because of something David had done wrong. And so God had struck him and struck the land and um, with the plague. And he is afraid when he sees this. Now, I, I shared with you in this dream that I had where I saw the angel that I wasn't afraid. It wasn't something that I was uh, had fear or something like that over the situation. What is being revealed to me and what I, I, I think is obvious, but I want to make sure that you understand it, is that there's a difference between the angel when it is hidden and the angel when it is evident, when it's not um, covered up and not hidden in the clouds. This is very clear, evident, sword still drawn. This would tell me a few things. One, that the pandemic situation, that's my wife, she's got my son at the hospital, just for checkup, he's getting x-rays right now. Um, anyway, the, the pandemic situation is, I believe, going to get worse, not not bad, right? So you have the the angel that's hidden, it's at a distance, um, and then you have him on the earth, 
not hidden, sword drawn. That's a much stronger presence, right? So for me, I look at that and I can clearly see, okay, this is a progression that we're seeing happening and the Lord's revealing. And again, if you're where you're supposed to be, walking with the Lord, there's nothing for you to fear, right? Um, you just stay humble with the Lord. Um, however, and this leads me to the next thing I want to share with you, I do see darkness falling on the land, right? What I've shared various different dreams with you in some of those dreams, I, it's dark on the land. And I believe that there is a depression that's going to hit the land. Like I said, in some dream uh, I shared with you some time back, the Lord had showed me that there would be three waves and the first wave would be stopped and the second wave would be stopped, but the third wave would not be stopped. And it would put a depression on the land. So I believe that is happening. However, I had this other dream recently, like a week or so ago, and it's what matters most to the righteous, to, to those of you who are walking right, who are seeking the Lord for guidance, for wisdom and understanding. And this is what I want to share with you. In this dream, I saw myself, I, I was outside and I was in this little small town that I'm familiar with from as a kid, and it's dark on the land, it's nighttime. And I'm looking down Main Street, right? And it's a very, very small town. A few thousand people live in this town. It's, there's nothing to write home about. And I'm looking down this Main Street and I see lights, 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 lights. Just tons of lights on this Main Street on each of these businesses. And the lights are just excessive, all right? Um, and if somebody's standing with me and I, I jokingly turn to the person and say, what is this, Reno? like Reno, uh, Nevada. And the person looks at me like, no, this is not Reno. And I'm like, I, I know this is not Reno, but either way, it's that degree of lights on the street, right? In a small town. So it's, it's odd, right? And one particular light stands out to me and it's got this kind of a flower formation to it. And it's all lit up. And it kind of looked a little bit like maybe a, a gas stove, you know, how the different flames coming up and up and that was the end of the dream but when I woke up I had some understanding about this dream I knew that what I was seeing was opulence was excess in a small town right and I knew that that light mattered in the dream and so that particular light that stood out to me was flowered right and that's important detail and it looked like uh, fuel like a uh, gas or something of that nature, like natural gas, something like that, um, flower, and it was um, light, it was energy. So what I was being shown here is that there is about to be a flowering of uh, understanding knowledge breakthrough in some way that is going to change our energy structure in the United States of America, okay? It will be so game-changing that extreme opulence in a very small town takes place, okay? Think Dubai with cops driving Lamborghinis, that type of thing, right? It's kind of hard for me to describe it with as much detail as I've been given. Whatever I can say, though, however I can say, that I am not the first prophetic person to be shown this. This is the first time I've ever been shown this, but... I remember sometime way back in the day, um, Kim Clement, the prophet Kim Clement, he had mentioned that there's going to be a change in something in the energy. I, you have to go look it up. I, I don't, I haven't seen it in forever in a day. Um, but he has spoken about something like that, something about uh, big E, little E. It's, I mean, it, it's rough for me to try to remember what those details were because I, I just can't remember. But in any event, I'm not the first prophetic person to have been shown. There's a change in our energy that's going to take place, and it's going to bring great wealth to this nation, the United States of America. And I don't know what else it will affect, but that's just what the Lord is showing me. And so what I want to share with you now is to understand that we're going into a dark time. Um, and of course, when things like that happen, things go on sale, right? People just, they give up hope. They assume that never will be, there will never be another good time in the future and they just despair everything, you know. That's not how you should behave. A wise person would go in and invest on things 
that people think are never going to be better because you now know, prophetically, you're being shown this, that there is an even better time coming than what we've ever, ever seen before. So this is something that I just felt encouraging and, and I, I, I knew it was something from the Lord and I knew it was something I needed to share with you. And so that's what I have done, okay? Um, other thing I want to talk about just for a little, just for a moment here. I had a conversation sometime back um, with a preacher and this preacher has been a preacher at like three different churches in his career, right? So he's been doing this for many, many years. And uh, he had taught some things that I, I disagreed with and I felt that there was no verse in the Bible to back up what he was saying. So I asked him, you know, about it. And he couldn't provide me a verse to back up what he'd said, said which is rule number one, right? But he didn't. And then I went through and I started to show him verses that contradicted what he said. Verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and he could not give a response to any of the ones I, I pointed to. And finally, some frustration, he, he decided that he would, he would make a stab at defending you know, his case by attacking the, the, the verses that I had shown in their interpretation. And he started by saying, in the book of Revelations, and for those of you who missed that, there is no S in the book of Revelation. So when people are talking to you and they've been preaching and then they have been teaching for many, many years to many different congregations and they don't even know the book of the Bible that they're talking about to the point that they, they don't know the title, right? How knowledgeable is that person on such a matter? Not very, right? But that person's not someone that I see as rare case in the United States of America. I see again and again and again people preaching things that they were taught, but they themselves never sought out to see if was it really true or was it um, sound, you know, throughout scripture. They'll find a verse that backs something up. In this case, the guy didn't have that, but in some cases they'll find just one verse to back something up and they'll take that one verse and make all kinds of assumptions and never having actually gone and tested those assumptions against other verses in the scripture, right? So we, it's important that we understand that all the verses are still in effect. They're not broken, right? So it's just an important detail that I want to encourage everybody. If you're following this channel, you should be um, taking time every single day to spend time in the Word of God and grow and mature. If you can't do that part, if you're not willing to do that part, you're not doing the walk. You're, 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 you're fooling yourself, okay? It is time for Christians in the pews of these churches to stand up and say, no, wait a minute, that's not what the Word of God says. But you can't do that if you don't know what the Word of God says, okay? So I encourage everybody to be in the Word Study to show thyself approved. It does not say go to a church so some pastor can tell you that you're approved. It doesn't say let your pastor study so that they, he can tell you things that are approved. It says study to show thyself approved unto God, right? And not unto man. Not no, Don't make sure you fit man's culture or man's theology. Make sure you fit God, right? Um, and this is really, really important. It's something that's been... not taught well in in church churches do really well if they focus on i need to make sure that i feed the sheep and the only way to effectively do that is to get the sheep right to spend time with the shepherd right the good shepherd and so your pastor if he's a good pastor he's going to be encouraging you to spend time in the word every single day every single week you come to the pastor you're going to have something, some development in your life, something you spend time with the Lord on, and you have this relationship that's going on. It's not just I show up to church on Sunday and I hear something that someone told me that from the book of Revelations that that shouldn't be your walk. You should have a spiritual, maturing, growing um, relationship with the Lord. And I'm not saying you're going to be perfect in every single detail. And every, you're going to, as the Word tells you, the path of the righteous grows brighter and brighter unto the day of perfection. 
So your path should be getting brighter and brighter as you're getting closer and closer to the Lord. Uh, I guess some way of kind of wording it. Anyway, kind of rambling. God bless. Take care. Love you guys. And I hope you're all having an excellent 2021.